Hey everybody, appreciate everybody being here, watching. I appreciate all the comments. Um, please take the time to leave a comment. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. Today, I wanted to talk about something really weird that happened to me with fasting. And I'll probably hit on this a few times because I'm really confused by it in a sense. So last week, uh, I started fasting Wednesday evening and was going to fast until Friday. It would have been a 48-hour fast. So Friday comes along, and my wife throws together a, a salad, a shrimp salad, cabbage, and all kinds of other goodies, bell peppers, and a salad like I really like. And all of a sudden, uh, or not all of a sudden, I still wasn't hungry. You know, we were in a little bit of a rush uh, to get to the football game. But I wasn't hungry, like at all, like almost repulsed. Wouldn't quite say repulsed, but I did not want anything at all to do with food. So I figured, hey, I've been wanting to do a 60 to 72 hour fast. Let's see how things go. Well, Saturday rolls around and again, I'm not hungry at all. And my wife puts together this amazing, beautiful Indonesian style dish of sweet potatoes and chickpeas over quinoa with a, a coconut milk curry sauce and all kinds of goodness. I mean, just one of my top 10 favorite meals. My wife has taken a lot of time to learn how to cook an Indonesian style that the whole family can like, which is hard with six people. How many people do you have in your family? Do you have to worry about trying to feed at a time? Let me know in the comments. I think that'd be kind of interesting because I know six is very, very hectic. Anyways, off track. So I went to eat and literally first bite and I was like, eh. which I don't ever want to turn my nose up my wife's cooking, but it didn't taste appealing. You know, it was just, eh. And I literally ate a handful of bites. Oh, yeah, and grilled catfish. I love grilled catfish. I don't, that's something that, man, a month ago, I would have put away two pounds of grilled catfish without a problem. I don't, I don't get it. But I had a very very small piece probably one to two ounces of catfish and I couldn't I mean that was it it's just no no more and I didn't have an appetite at all so um I was kind of concerned because I've never not wanted food it's the first time that I can ever remember that I didn't want food I'm the guy that can go to a buffet get too full to where I'm almost sick, leave, go to the car, come home and be like, hmm, those chips look good. Anybody else relate to that? Really? Come on. I know you may have done it. I have. But that's besides the point. So um, I decided, well, maybe uh, I fasted long enough that I needed to be more gentle on my refeeding. So we went to the store to try to find some uh, bone broth. And no store in our area has bone broth. Not at all. So went to the meat counter, got some soup bones, uh, looked up a couple recipes, decided what we liked. Me and my wife used to make this amazing bison stew when we were in the, when we owned the restaurant. And it was fantastic. Well, I couldn't find everything that I wanted. I couldn't find bison. Um, go figure. It's kind of hard. But man, that's off topic. That's another day. If I can find it, we're going to do a video on bone broth bison stew. That is just freaking phenomenal. It takes like two days to make. But when it's done, it is golden. So... We went to the store, and usually when I go to a store, I'm sitting there seeing things and putting together different meal menus and ideas and different things to 
compose. I'm the guy that goes to the store and I come home with four or five meals worth of stuff, whether we may or may not need it. And nothing was appealing. Nothing looked good. So we got our most of our ingredients. We needed to go to a different store again. Um, went through there and even looking for other things for the week for the girls and stuff. And I was just like, eh. we left with some tuna packets or not tuna, uh, salmon packets because they really like adding it to salads and stuff like that, which awesome. Great. So got those came home and I sear my, uh, bones with whatever meat they have on them in the frying pan just to give it a nice little sear real fast before I throw it in the Instapot or it used to be crock pot. We have an Instapot now. What an amazing thing. Do you have an Instapot? It, it's probably worthwhile. It's one of those things that we use it a lot. It's really nice on some things, but even cooking those smelling that beef, you know, cook nothing. Yeah. Nope. Didn't even want to bite. So put everything together, made it. Um, Sunday comes along, everything's done and ready. And I have like six ounces of this bone broth and we had carrots in it and garlic and spices and, um, uh, some chilies that we put in there to cook with it. Um, apple cider vinegar to help break everything down. So it had this little ting to it, man. Really good. Six ounces. Uh, I was full. I was, nope, no more. Couldn't do anything. And I planned, and mentally in my head, I actually planned to eat with the family, you know, at least two meals a day, Saturday and Sunday. Well, here it is Sunday. So then we put together a uh, the Mississippi pot roast, which we take a, oh, I can't think of the cut of it, butter roast is what some people call it. It's where flat iron steaks come out of. So we take that and we sear it in the pan. And this is after I had my bone broth and everything. And even then, as this is searing, getting ready to go into the Instapot, nothing. Usually I smell food cooking, I'm hungry. Doesn't matter if I just ate or not, I smell food cooking, I'm hungry. I wasn't even hungry. It's like weird. So we put everything together. We had volleyball games to go to. Uh, put it on delayed. We come home and it's done. It's freaking fantastic. And it smells amazing. I'm not hungry. So I go ahead and have a little bit of bone broth. Um, just to see if that helps get my appetite going. Because it tasted good earlier. And so I, I had some more of that. And it was really good. I liked it. Um, started getting appetite as my wife was, uh, doing the tortilla shells and doing a few other things. I also took some time to extra load on some electrolytes, salt, water, um, magnesium and a few other things and more water. Got my appetite. I had two, uh, there's street size tacos. So pretty, pretty small. Ooh, I didn't like that. Anyways, so pretty small tacos only just a pinch of meat in each one and we had carrots and mushrooms and the pepperoncini peppers in it just it's really good um we also had sweet potato to go with it and something else so i ate the tacos i ate some of the carrots i ate i ate, I ate half of a i ate two inches of a half a carrot and I ate one mushroom and one pepperoncini pepper and those two tacos. And I couldn't eat any more. And that was yesterday afternoon at 2. Here I am, Monday the 30th, and I'm not hungry. I'm okay with that, not being hungry. But that is the weirdest experience I've ever had of not wanting food. Has anybody ever had this happen? Can anybody explain this? This this is really confusing to me. I'd really love to hear your feedback and your answers and your information that you have, your experiences, not answers. 
I, I would greatly appreciate that if you'd go ahead and share those. But anyways, feeling good, going good. Uh, going to just keep rocking and doing what I'm doing. We'll see. I may eat tonight if I'm hungry. I may not. I may wait till tomorrow to eat something. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I'm still morbidly obese. And I don't think most people realize how much fat is on my body. I'm only 5'6", and I currently, as of this morning, weighed 360 pounds. Down 40 pounds in the past three weeks, which is shocking and great. Some people find it very scary, which as sometimes it would be, but I know I'm getting the nutrition I need when I eat because we eat a very diverse meal uh, with a lot of nutrients and stuff focused on those. But I don't know. Love to hear your input. Love to hear your feedback. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.